How's it going guys? This is Scott from TalkAndroid.com and this is the AT&T Captivate, which is also a Samsung Galaxy S phone. One of the first things to notice about this Android 2.1 device is that it's very good looking. Um, it feels good in your hand, it looks good sitting on a table, um, it's just nice to look at. Um, to talk about some of the outside physical features right now, got your volume rocker right here cruise around up top, um, you got your headphone jack, and a little sliding door for your mini USB. A um, little door is nice, that way if you're keeping your phone in your pocket or whatever, um, you're not going to get dirt or lint or whatever, you know, whatever you keep in your pocket, it's not going to get in your mini, mini USB jack and dirty up those contacts. Close that, spin her around, got your power button right here, then on the bottom, you know, got your microphone. Um, the front isn't really, you know, much talk about either. You got your um, touch buttons right here, and then your speaker for your ear, and then the proximity sensors and everything. Flipping it around, um, pretty, you know, featureless except for the speaker right there and the camera. Um, camera, obviously, as you notice, no flash. Um, we just actually uploaded some pictures from the 5 megapixel camera as well as some video which is 720p, and if you watch it and if you look at the pictures, you'll see the camera isn't that good. Um, sorry to say, maybe the flash will help it out, but low light pictures, it's bad. Um, out, outside, it's, it's okay, but you know, nothing right home about. This is probably one of the coolest features of the phone on the outside is this battery cover. Um, it's metal. Um, it appears to be aluminum, but what's really cool about it, if you get up close and look, um, it's kind of hard to describe with this little checkerboard machined finish. It actually makes you feel kind of soft. It's pretty cool. It just feels nice in your hand. Um, this Galaxy S little logo is raised. You can probably hear it. You know, I, I scrape my fingernail across there. But one thing, I don't know if you're how hard you are on your phone and everything, but I would worry about if this thing's spending a lot of time in my pocket with keys or whatever, these letters falling it off, you know. All of a sudden, you might pick out your phone one day, and it's going to say Galay instead of Galaxy. So, you know, who knows? All right. Um, to get to the battery, it's pretty neat. Uh, it was actually a little puzzled when I first got it, but this slides out. Pull off your battery cover. Um, obviously, this is, like I said, it's metal. Um, pretty cool, too, is the contact there and a contact there um, are actually contacts for your antenna. Um, that way... No matter how you hold this thing, keeps reception. You're not going to be dropping on your bars. You know you can hold it however you want. Put that down. Battery, 1500 milliamps. Um, that's going to get you about six and a half hours of talk time, or believe it or not, 24 days of standby time. Um, I can't really vouch for the for the standby time. Um, but what I can tell you about the talk time, I personally don't really talk on my phone that much. Uh, I'm a big texter. But from what I've seen with browsing the internet, playing games, if you're on this thing, if you're a heavy user, um, you'll drain the battery. Um, a lot of it's probably from this big old gorgeous 4-inch super MOLED display. But really this thing, I mean, I've used it from 1230 to 630. Um, almost, not really constantly, but on and off. And by the end of the day, I was down about 15%, even like, you know, eight, 9% battery remaining. So if you're a heavy user, just something to watch out for. Um, this thing definitely, you know, sucks down the battery juice. So obviously not much more to say in the back. Um, you got your SIM card, micro SD card. Um, I got a little four gig in there right now, but that's about it. Speaker, you know, that's everything. Let's put this battery cover back on. Phone's booted up. Obviously, it wasn't the stock Android unlock, you know, swipe to unlock screen. Something different. Um, this is your main home screen. Um, first thing I noticed, really, to be honest with you, is the email button is not Gmail. Personally, I never use, like, the built-in actual email program. I use Gmail for everything, whether it's my personal email or for my talk Android email. That's what I use. And you can't replace this with Gmail. So instead, I have to have... The Gmail icon on my home screen, which really isn't that big of a deal, but really that button is just wasting space. I'm never going to use it. Talk about the camera real quick. Um, we just put up some pictures and video 
uh, what this thing can produce. So as you know, it's not you know, not the greatest, but again, this isn't uh, the camera phone isn't the biggest feature of this. You know, it's a smartphone and that takes pictures. That's how I look at it. Look at the settings here. Um, you got outdoor mode, which basically just boosts the brightness of the screen. Um, outdoor visibility mode doesn't actually have any effect on the pictures that you take. It doesn't affect your picture brightness. It's all about the display. All right, you got focus mode, autofocus. You got timer, resolution, white balance, effects, your ISO settings, metering, anti-shake, auto contrast, blink detection, image quality, and some mis miscellaneous adjustments. We'll hit the wrench. Uh, you got your guidelines, which is that grid that you saw on there. Um, review, if you want to review your pictures, you can do geotagging. Shutter sound storage, again, it's a pretty basic camera. Basic settings, same thing with the video camera. Again, outdoor visibility, a timer, resolution goes all the way up to 720p and all the way down to 176 by 144. So I, I, don't, know, I don't know what you're gonna use that for, but it does it. Oh, I hit back there on accident. Go to the second page, again, white balance, effects, video quality, adjustment. The range guidelines, audio recording, review, storage. Again, pretty basic. Um, this isn't a super, you know, like I said, camera phone, but again, that's not what it's meant to be. All right. Um, well, this is, I'll show you this. Um, we'll go into the widgets. Um, I'll trash this first and then we'll start over. Samsung is not necessary. It's like Motorola with a blur. Um, to separate the widgets into Android widgets and Samsung widgets. So let's take a look. Um, the Buddies Now, basically this is for most recently used, not, I shouldn't say recently used, you can add whoever you want to this little, I guess, Rolodex. Um, so if you get a text from somebody, it'll get a little balloon and show you, or if you just, you know, you can put all your frequently used contacts here, whether it doesn't matter who it is, you know, your dad, your girlfriend, whatnot, but I don't know. I don't really use it. I don't think it'd be that useful, you know, I, I don't have a problem with going to my call log and doing it that way, or, you know, if going to my messaging and... I usually have something going with them already, but that's that, so trash. Next, calendar clocks. Just like it sounds, it sh it'll display your Google Calendar as well as, you know, a clock. It's amazing. Um, so it's pretty nice. Obviously, you know, girlfriend's checking in on me. How's my night is? But anyway, um, it'll display what time you have your scheduled events on your calendar. There is an overlay. Um, so if you're... A, really on a tight schedule and you really want quick access to that instead of going into your applications or putting an icon off your Google Calendar, it's right there. Um, also got a little weather functionality built into it, you know. Good for that app. All right. Calendar clock. Daily briefing. That's what was up when I first got to the screen. Um, throw in your zip code for the weather from AccuWeather. Well, clicked on it. Then you can get, um, you can type in Yahoo Finance, any, um, you know, abbreviation on the stock market. You can pull up, I got Google up right now, just, you know, because, and then Associated Press, Mobile News, you know, it's, it, this is just nice. So if you want some to know your weather and maybe your stock or some news, it's all in one place. All right, let's keep on going. Samsung widgets, daily, uh, we just did daily briefing. We'll do days. Um, this is kind of like a, a diary, really. Um, it allows you to add photos to a memo. It's got the date and everything. I don't know. Some people are going to think it's great, but I have really no use for it. You know, it'll be up to you. Dual clock, just like it sounds. Um, it's two clocks. Um, we know in Chicago and Denver, you can really, you know, do whatever you want with it. I'm getting anxious with the long, long touch here. All right, feeds and updates. If you're a big social networking person, this will be good for you. Um, I got Twitter loaded up right now, but um, you can load up Twitter, MySpace, who uses that anymore, <laughs> and then uh, Facebook. Um, so have them all around your, you know, around your screen there, which is pretty nice if you're a big social networking person. And then finally, the Yahoo Finance clock. Um, these guys are all about clocks. Um, same thing, it's a clock. Only this one, instead of displaying your calendar, or not your calendar, yeah, your calendar with your, you know, your times on and whatnot, this one's got your uh, finance info from Yahoo. So, you know, I was typing in, typed in Google in there, shows you how it's doing. So, pretty cool. That's it for the uh, the widgets. Um, you got seven home screens. You got seven dots up top that you can kind of whiz through. Uh, if you press one of the one dots, you can kind of zip to it and whatnot. Um, 